Hi, I'm Lindsay from Shreve Memorial Library and welcome to Art Club. Today we're going to make a painting by Wassily Kandinsky. He was born in 1866 and he died in 1944. He was from Russia, but he spent a lot of his life in Germany and he was heavily influenced by German Expressionism. He lived a long life and he went through a lot of art movements like a lot of those people do. And uh, a lot of people consider him the father of abstract art, which you see what we're doing today is clearly abstract art. Uh, he painted it in 1930. It, uh, it's called Unstable Balance. And uh, yeah, it's an example of, uh, of abstract art. Fun fact, Kandinsky taught in the Bauhaus with Paul Klee, which if you've seen the some previous episodes of... Uh, of art club you'll know what that means it was a really prestigious german art school and the people who taught there were very very influential anyway so this is uh this is the kind of art that kandinsky is best known for though he did stuff from he, he started out doing um, more realistic stuff as a lot of abstract artists do he he went through impressionism he did all kind of cool stuff um, yeah, you should look up. You should look up Kandinsky. He's a really interesting person. He had some very, very interesting theories on art. I'm a big fan. Anyway, so what you need to do this are a pencil with an eraser or and an eraser. You're going to want a pen for this one. It doesn't matter what kind. Um, it can, this one's waterproof. It doesn't need to be. You can use whatever pen, just I would suggest black. Um, I'm gonna need paper. I'm using watercolor paper because I'm watercoloring. You're gonna want something to color with. Uh, anything will work. And uh, you're gonna want a straight edge of some sort. It does not need to be a ruler. It can be a strip of paper or something like that. Um, if you don't have a straight edge, that's cool too. Just eyeball it. Um, if you happen to have a jar lid that's the right size for that circle, good for you. That'll, that'll make your circle easier. I'm just gonna freehand it. Uh, and we'll see how it turns out. Let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is eyeball the center of this thing and uh, draw a line straight down to about here or so. Okay, just straight, straight line. That's straight, good enough. About there. There's my straight line. Then I'm going to go ahead and try this. Or actually, we'll do one more easy part first. This is a T-square. You don't need to have a T-square. Just try and square it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to draw a line to about here. And there. Okay. So for the circle, let's decide. I'm not, I'm not worried about that outlining part yet. This is just the main part of the circle that I'm doing. So we decide where it goes. Let's see. This is about the top of it, right? And then the bottom is above the halfway point. Leave room for all that. So I'll say it's here. Okay. And then you can imagine a plus sign. I'm going to draw one very, very lightly. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm going to decide, decide these about here, about here. You want them to be pretty much the same length. So we'll have a little plus sign and that'll be our guide for drawing a circle. So all you have to do is connect these gracefully, which is easier than just trying to draw a circle from scratch. Just draw lightly. So you can erase it if you're not happy with it. Just do your best to put that circle in and just make it as round as you can. That's a pretty good circle. I'm going to erase that little plusy part because that is not in the painting that was just to help me draw a circle okay 
And now I'm going to do the little outline bit. I'm getting eraser all over me. Okay, so this part, this little part comes to about here, right? And it starts about here. So I just have these two lines and I'm going to draw right next to my circle. It's a line going all the way around as parallel to the circle as I can make it. Let's see. You need to turn your paper unlike what I'm doing. Totally do that. That'll probably make it easier on you. Okay. And then this part comes up higher and it ends about here. Like that. And I'm just going to draw this line parallel or as parallel as I can make it. I do better making short lines for these kinds of things, but your mileage may vary. Okay, now that I look at it, I think my circle is smaller than it should be, but that's okay. That's my art. Okay, so let's do this about here let's see below the bottom of that we have not that much below here or so there's a line here and then there's another one that's angled down a little bit out there good enough and then there's this stuff up here just gonna draw on that way and then that way and then we will do the rest of that stuff with the pen we're just gonna put this here and then this here or so and then let's draw this triangle and again, if you were drawing this freehand, that is perfectly fine. And then there's this tiny triangle. I am going to freehand up here. Okay. And then right under here, we have this boxy thing. Like, cute. Kind of straight might be angled a little bit it's like that Ooh, that's not good okay and then below that is a triangle which starts just below that like that or so and you see I'm not even trying to be perfect I'm just getting it done okay and there's another longer one and skinnier one right next to it Okay, and then at the top of this, about here, is this line that goes down to the bottom of this big triangle. Uh, there, and then to this is another shorter one, like that or so. Not good enough. And then there's another line right here. Like that. Okay, and then there's a little skinny thing right here. And another little skinny thing next to it that's shorter. 
And then this looks pretty horizontal. Let's see. Straight line out this way. And it angles out. I'm doing the outside angle on this. Too much. It goes out farther. And then we go in just a little bit. Like that. And get that inside bit. And then draw a line from one end of this thing to the other. Okay. We have down here this little guy. It's about oh, farther down. Here. There. Okay. And then we have this, which goes about to here and then down to there. So I'm just going to draw another horizontal line. Looks horizontal. From here to there or so. I mean, that's, that was vertical. That was not horizontal. <laughs> okay, this is horizontal. Dupe. Okay. This goes up about like that. Boom. This goes up higher. Above the halfway point. Like that. Okay, this one is wider and like that. And this goes about halfway up here. And this one goes all the way to the top. Okay. I believe that this is it for the drawing portion of this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call this a detail level one because this is this is pretty easy. Next up, we're gonna do some watercoloring. I'm gonna start with red and go from top to bottom. This is a pretty cool red, but that's okay. I'm gonna get red. I'll just put this here. And paint first this bit right there. To that, I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to paint this. I'm just going to get like some straight red like that, and I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm just going to go, let's see. Eh. Just kind of do it scribbly in here. And like that. There we go. Okay. Um, I think these two things might be red. I can't quite tell, but I'm going to pretend they are if they're not, because that's what they look like to me. So I'm going to paint these two red. And then I'm going to paint, I'm going to go over here first so I don't get my hand in it and paint this triangle red. Okay. And then I'm going to get some potent red and get and do this just like I did that one. Just kind of scribbly. And then this I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to, We'll see, this will be an experiment. I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna paint part of this just with water. 
good bit of it and it's just going to kind of go down. All I'm doing is putting plain water on this thing and then I'm going to inject a little bit of red into it. Let it run with this and then just let it go. Like put little drops in there like that. Tilt it a little bit and let it do its thing. So I want it a little bit more rounded there. Okay? I want it against this whole bit though. I'm going to do that. There we go. Okay. And there I believe is our red. Next I'm going to do green. Oh, hey, look, I have some green up here. I'm going to get some more, too. If anything's mixed, I always test it. Yeah, that's all we wanted was this, this green. Okay. And first, I'll get this triangle. Where is there water? There's water right there. Okay. So, it only goes up about, like, to there. So I'm going to paint that first just to make sure I don't paint the whole thing because I'm not paying attention, as I tend to do. Okay, now we're going to do scribbly green over here. And don't worry about those black marks yet. We will deal with that when we get to it. And then I'm going to paint this one down here. Okay, next up is I'm going to do orange. that here. It's not a terrifically potent orange. So I'll use a good bit of water. Okay. And I'm going to paint this scribbly and this scribbly. Oh, we are almost done painting. Okay, so next let's do yellow. And check and make sure your red is dry at least enough that the that it won't make the yellow run. We're far enough away from the green that that won't be an issue. And so let's do the same thing with this yellow that we did with this red down here. And just paint most of it. I'm going to leave a little space around here. I already got some yellow on there, but that's okay. Oh, orange. Doesn't matter. Okay. E, too much water. Okay. Water. This is called wet and wet. We've done a little bit of it, but not much. Okay. Wet is just wet and wet is just when you put wet paint onto wet paper. And we want concentrated here. Right, and then can kind of move around a little bit. And just move your paper and let the watercolor flow for a little bit. Okay, good enough. Okay, so this completes, I believe, the. Yep. That completes the painting portion. So I'm going to put up my paints and pull out my pen. Now before you make any of these marks, be sure that whatever your pen is touching is dry. Um, I would just go ahead and dry this with a blow dryer, but when you have paint that you've done wet and wet like this and it still can move around, you can really mess it up pretty easily if you use a blow dryer. So this for me needs to sit for a little bit before I can dry it. Now you can go take a break, you can go do whatever, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on parts of the painting that I don't think are going to be a problem. And for that, I'm going to start start down here and I'm going to go over these lines and pen being very careful to stay away from that yellow. 
Okay, now I'm going to color these in a black marker. It would be great here, um, but I'm just going to do it with my pen. Okay, um, this got wider because I'm not good at brush pen. Let's see if I can straighten that out just a little. There, there. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing with this part and mostly color it in. You see how the edges are kind of jagged? So, I'm just going to very, very lightly, as carefully as I can, color this in. Yeah, a marker would be great. Okay. So, there's that. My yellow is still really wet, so I'm not going to get to these lines yet. Um, there's a block here. Goes down about there. I'm going to color that in and use the pen a much better hat to make these lines. Okay, next up I'm going to do this little bit here, it's the same way I did that, except with a different pen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and outline these, and I'll go ahead and do the outlines. I'm just going to freehand this one because I'm worried about that yellow. I'm going to do these two just for this part right here. I'm just going to draw lines kind of randomly. Kind of takes the shape over here. Okay. Oh, uh, we can't forget this little guy down here. I'm just gonna color in sections and leave some white. Okay, and now I'm gonna dry my yellow. It stopped moving around. If you didn't use as much water as I did, yours might have just dried on its own, but I'm gonna dry it with my blow dryer. Just be sure if you do something like that, or else if you, you know, want to do anything to speed up the drying, be sure that it's dry enough that it's not just going to move around. Okay, I think that's good. And now, you can finish this thing. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. This line straight down from the top to the bottom. Well, from the top to where it ends down here at the bottom of this triangle. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and color this. I just realized we forgot to paint blue, didn't we? Oh well, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait until I'm done with the pen to do the blue and put a note at the beginning that you should have done it <laughs> when I should have done it because um, if you especially if you use like a marker or something you might run into problems there but I'll put a note when I edit okay Ooh, I'm just gonna color this in okay and I'm gonna draw a bunch of little lines right around it and now I'm gonna confront my circle <laughs> And just very carefully try to draw where my pencil mark was. Just go slow. Okay, I'm going to do this part. This is a big area, so I'm going to get out the brush pen and just do my best. And just kind of color this in, but not all the way. Okay, and then... Outline 
this part and I'm gonna mostly color it in. I think with the exception of that blue that we completely forgot about or I completely forgot about we're done. So again if you have a time turner now is a good time to use it hopefully I remembered to put a note to do that earlier for me it won't matter because my paint is my um, my, my pen is waterproof but it might for you otherwise okay so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to do it exactly the same way so I did this it's wet and wet I want to add a little bit of red up there that red I think so I'm going to add it um, I'm not going to put a note about this don't worry about it if you're not using waterproof paints and I believe that is it. Now, don't forget to sign your painting. I am going to do it in ink, and I'll do it where Kandinsky did it, down here in the left corner, which is not where I usually sign my paintings. But don't forget to sign your painting. It's awesome because you did it. I like this, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of Kandinsky anyway. I think his stuff is neato. And I hope you do too. Uh, don't forget the traceable. You can download it and just use it like a coloring book if you want to. That's totally cool. Or else you can trace it onto a canvas or a piece of paper or something and just do the painting part. Um, yeah, and if you did this along with me, please take a picture of your work and share it with the library social media. We love to see what you do. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. And I will see you next week for more Art Club. Bye.